In this advanced rigging tutorial, we are learning about how to use the multiple layers uh, that we have here to create a blinking eye. So at the moment, my character doesn't have any drawing substitutions inside the uh, glasses right here. I want to create the blink so that the eyelids actually come all the way inside the glasses, almost as if uh, the uh, glasses themselves are the representation of his eyes and that they're really uh, blown out of proportions uh, from under his glasses. So I'm going to find the uh, layer of my eye right here, so glasses front, and I have the pupil that is right here next to it. I am going to create a composite right here at the start. I'm going to come and connect the glasses front inside of it. And I'm going to set that composite as pass through. And I'm going to come and rename it I front comp. Right now, as you were able to see, I also have the pupil right next to it, but right now it's not being cut by anything. So if I want my character to look uh, in a certain way uh, to its extreme, it doesn't get cut off by anything. So we're, that is also something that we're going to set up in our uh, system. So I can actually come and plug in the pupil as well to have the entire eye right here. As you can see, if I select the composite, it selects it highlights the entire eye right here. So now that I have this, um, one of the things I would like to do when creating my blinks is uh, have a little bit more freedom in terms of how I can do the different expressions for uh, my character Basil here. Now when I'm going to come and create the art, uh, I could do several different drawings right here and just uh, create the art like that. Obviously not on my main drawing because that will uh, override the uh, different drawings that I have. Um, but in this case, since I want to have a little bit more freedom and not necessarily have to redraw all of my expressions all the time, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the multiple layers that we've previously used in some of our other systems. Now at the moment the uh, line art currently holds my eye or the the portion of my glasses that is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the line art for that and we're going to use the overlay and the color art to set our eyelids. So I'll have the upper eyelid on the overlay and I'll have the lower eyelid over on the color art. So in order to do that, I'm going to uh, give you a little preview by creating my first, uh, my first two drawings of my blank. I'm going to come over on this side and I'm going to duplicate my current drawing. So I have this little button on my timeline toolbar. Again, if you do not have the toolbar, you can always go back under Windows Toolbars. And I have right at the bottom here, Timeline View, which is this toolbar right here. So I'm going to click on my second frame, Duplicate Drawing. And now as you can see, it created a second drawing for my uh, for my project here. So I'm going to do, uh, rename this by pressing Control D. And I'm going to rename this QF2. So QF underscore 2. So now I have two identical drawings. I have QF1, QF2. And what I'm going to do is um, create the drawing of my blink over on my second drawing. And I mentioned before I was going to put on the overlay the drawing of my upper eyelid. Um, so you can have a little plan if you want of how uh, your blink is going to work out. It, for me I will do a 
uh, three drawing blank. So I will have uh, one eye that is open. So I already have my full drawing that is fully open. I'm going to have a second drawing that will have uh, the eyelids semi closed. And I will have a third drawing where I will have my full blank. So I could go and create my third drawing right away. I'm going to duplicate, rename QF3. And then I'm going to create on my second drawing. Now I'm in the overlay. I'm going to create the first portion of my upper eyelid. So I can come and uh, complete with the pencil line or with a stroke, depending on which one you prefer. So I have my upper eyelid here. You want to make it big enough so that if you decide to bring it down, it still covers up the, uh, int the entire eye. And I'm going to come and paint inside with the eyelid color that I have right here. And over on my color art, I will come and redo the same thing. You can copy and paste if you want with, um, with the piece that you've previously created. I'm going to come and copy paste my drawing here. So essentially what I, I'm going to keep is the two lines inside of the eye. I'm going to have those invert cut into the shape of my eye. Now I can take these, bring them over to my second, uh, my third drawing, and I'm going to come and paste those. And I want to get my blink. I'm going to come over to the overlay, copy, paste. I don't want these to be too close together because they will overlap and create a little bit of anti-aliasing. So you want to to make sure that they're not overlapping too much. And now my character ends up with a potato shaped eyeball. Now obviously that is not how we want it to look. We're going to leave it here for this step and uh, when we come back in the next video we can set up our system to have our blank work properly.